So one of the most important things that we want to make sure when we're controlling applications is that we not only just control applications, but understand that those applications can still bring risk into the environment that we want to mitigate and keep out of our networks. Um, the way that Palo Alto Networks addresses this problem is that we have two very unique phases of control. Um, first, we will start with the positive control where we can limit what types of dangerous applications are allowed into the network in the first place. That's this first step where we really want to limit um, the applications that get in to the ones that we need and actually have a purpose for. Um, then understanding that even in those applications that we need, there may be threats that we need to look for, such as exploits or malware, and we can clean those out and then also look at do we block certain types of content, do we prioritize the traffic, and do we limit the bandwidth. So this two-phase approach allows us to set what we need and then enforce policy on that allowed traffic. And again, we're always going to do that reg regardless of port and protocol. This is a quick example of what an enablement model uh, based on this type of strategy would look like. Um, for Facebook, you may say for the allow phase, we may only allow sales and marketing to use Facebooks because we use them, we use Facebook to communicate with our customers and prospects. We could say that it's read only so that those users can't post and not use uh, Facebook apps. We could even restrict it to a certain time and say it's only allowed during the lunch hour. But even in that allowed traffic, we know that we will have certain types of threats like malware, uh, bots that might be using uh, Facebook as command and control, cross-site scripting attacks, all of those types of things we can block and control using the threat prevention module even on this traffic that we've allowed. So let's really quickly jump over and take a look at some of this in the application itself. Great, so now we're looking at the user interface for the Palo Alto Networks firewall and you see um, when we're in the application command center, we have a list of all the applications that we're using. And over on the right, we can see how many threats are associated with each of those types of applications. So really quickly, I'm going to look at Blackboard um, simply because this is a collaborative application that a lot of educators will use to provide content to students online. As we scroll down, we can see the basics of the application, where the traffic's been going, um, the ingress and ingress points, what countries the traffic has been going to, but most importantly for our uh, purposes here is take a look at the threats that we've seen. We see a particular uh, vulnerability exploit that we can, again, just click on and get more information. So this allows us to really quickly see that we can allow traffic but also uh, protect that traffic from certain types of threats. Now the real power of the Palo Alto Network solution really becomes obvious in the policy screen. Uh, I just want to show really quickly how easy it is to create these policies where you can specify certain types of users, map to certain types of applications, and then have your threat profiles and options that you want to have enabled tied to that exact same policy. So all in one screen, we can choose to look at our threat profiles, and if we wanted to change, say, the profile to block all instead of allow all um, for our uh, uh, vulner vulnerabilities, we can do that really quickly from this user interface. Other things that we can do is we can also set uh, QoS rules. So even for allowed traffic, we may want to prioritize certain types of traffic, such as voice over IP, or deprioritize certain types of traffic like uh, gaming sites and things like that. We can also set bandwidth limits on these types of uh, applications. So we can say YouTube is allowed, but we can limit it to a certain amount of bandwidth so it doesn't bog down our network. So these are the types of things where we can allow but control the traffic from threats and harming the network in pretty much any way. 
So this gives us a really quick view of some of the things that you can do with the Palo Alto Networks uh, solution where you can allow traffic and then start to really control that traffic. And just as a summary, the first thing that we want to do is always reduce the attack surface of the network by preventing those dangerous applications from ever getting to the network in the first place. Secondly, we want to set policies for what uh, applications we allow. We do that based on users, what features we want them to be able to use, and what times they should be able to uh, use the system. Then we also look at securing that allowed traffic, looking for exploits, looking for malware, uh, threats of all types, and then looking into the content. Um, blocking out certain dangerous file types, looking for content like uh, credit card numbers or social security numbers, and then also monitoring the bandwidth and the priority of that traffic. So this gives us a very coordinated way of making sure that we securely enable an, an application as opposed to just blocking it. So that will wrap up this section and we look forward to talking to you in the future.